I don't care what your plan is. We're not sticking around to get eaten alive. Me and my crew are leaving, period. If you want to abandon the work you agreed to do for the Republic, I can't stop you. But you aren't leaving. A six-month quarantine requirement has been put into effect. Anyone trying to leave without prior authorization is subject. You can sit in a medical bay and go broke, or you can help us accomplish something unprecedented. It's your choice. You shouldn't be so harsh, Governor. These men aren't fighters. We are what we choose to be. I know you're going to make the right decision here, Hull. Come back when you do. Unfortunately, not everyone flourishes in the face of adversity. Scouting parties are already reporting lower rat ghoul populations. Most of our work crews are gearing up. We're finally gonna get this project moving. I'll look forward to seeing what you do with the place. My ancestors called Terrace home once. Thanks to you, millions of people might call it home again someday. Stay safe. And stay in touch. Official business only. Hey there, Captain Childress. I want to thank you for taking the time to see me. You did nice work on that land claim mess. Like we flew this many troops to the armpit of the galaxy so some kids could play Pioneer. It'll take way more than it's worth to make this planet livable. Only thing interesting about Terrace is that it's the worst failure the Republic's ever had. I don't know much about Terrace's history. Way back when, the Sith were searching for a Jedi here. When they couldn't find her, they tried destroying the entire planet. The Jedi escaped, but millions of people died an ugly flame and death. The Empire tried the same thing on Coruscant in the last war. 300 years after Terrace, we still don't know squat about how to defend against a bombardment once ships are in low orbit. Until we learn to defend ourselves, we're at the Empire's mercy. That's why I'm here. Learn what we can, so we don't repeat the mistakes. I sent commandos to defend a research team at the crash site of the Endar Spire, the last Republic warship shot down over this planet. If we're lucky, that ship recorded the whole bombardment. But my team's lost contact, which means there are desk jockeys in the wild with the most valuable data on Terrace. What's this ship? Why is it so valuable? There were Jedi aboard back in the day. Now, we hope it's got data on the attackers. The crash site's a ways out, fast as you can make it. I don't know if we've got survivors. Research team's your number two priority. Data's the most important thing. Take anything the Endar Spire recorded to Commander Viki at the outpost.
Khan. The foundation of the Terrace Chemworks factory cannot be repaired. I expect total collapse within two weeks. Once the building falls, the stored chemicals will flood this area. They are highly toxic to humans. I am sorry. I'll make sure there are speeders on hand, but we can't just pack up and go. Do as you can. As always, I will pursue an alternative. Master Jedi, forgive my inattentiveness. I am honored by your presence, though I advise you not to stay long. I appreciate the advice, but I could use a reason. Many of these ruins are unstable. A nearby structure used for chemical storage is on the verge of crumbling. As I was explaining to my colleague, there is only one way to remove the chemicals before they spill. A burn-off, a well-armed demolitions team, could reach the structure and incinerate the chemical stockpiles. I can provide the incendiaries. Unfortunately, no team is available. Why don't you let me deal with this? Your generosity is considerable. You should know, however, between the structural instability, the toxicity levels and the incendiary chemicals, the mission does carry substantial risk. It is nonetheless urgent. You are not a demolitions team, I fully recognize this. But if you could arrange the burn-off, I would humbly welcome your aid. Excuse me, friends. I'm told you're among the Republic's most reliable operatives here. Have you heard anything about titroxinate being sold on the black market? What's titroxinate? Titroxinate was the pre-patent name for the weaponized agent we think was responsible for the Rakgul Plague. The Empire could fashion it into a terrible weapon, turning our soldiers into monsters and setting them against us. Where's the arms dealer who's selling this stuff? I'm more worried about his source. Trace the original titroxinate samples to an old chemworks factory. It's overrun with Nexu. We can't get near it. If you can retrieve any canisters that remain, the Republic will see you're well rewarded for your effort. I see your infection is progressing. Hold still while I take samples for analysis. While I transmit the data to Dr. Cell, there are some questions I should ask. Do you have any of the following symptoms? Dizziness, fever, shortness of breath, an inexhaustible hunger for sentient flesh. I could go for a Nerf burger. That doesn't count, right? I will note it on your chart. Ah, here's Dr. Cell. Good news. Your antibody count is off the charts. I'll start work on a vaccine immediately. You are remarkably brave. Our progress has just jumped forward by years. While you recuperate, I'm going to transmit the usual secrecy agreements. Just use your thumbprint to sign on the sensor. What do you mean, usual secrecy agreements? This is standard procedure when the Republic develops biotech with significant earnings potential. We develop the vaccine for Republic soldiers first, and when it's proven, sell it to colonists. Until then, it's under wraps. We don't want the Exchange or the Sith funding some horrible operation with an underground version. Lives will be lost while this profit is being made. Tell me something I don't know. Every week we hear another Rakul horror story. But every colonist on the planet is going to want this vaccine. How do I tell my superiors we gave up that kind of money? If you get a sample to the Jedi, I bet they'd find someone to make it fast. I'll keep that in mind. We'll get this cure out one way or another. Thanks for putting yourself on the line for this. It would have taken years to do it the safe way. I don't know if Tyrus will ever be what it was, but now, at least, there's hope. Master Jedi, what brings you to our small corner of Republic space? This is such a great, great honor. 
Even a forgotten planet can harbor dark secrets. Well, whatever brings you here, I suggest you don't stay long. We barely got stores enough for our station soldiers, much less visitors. At this rate, I've got men scalping ration cubes for a half week's salary. I can't believe the Republic sent you out here without sufficient supplies. Oh, we get supplies. Every month. Shipped in from Ord Mantel. Problem is, this month's ship went nose down in some of the worst territory on Taras. It'll take another month before the next one arrives. And in the meantime, my men are stewing their gloves. Is the ship lost? Why haven't your men recovered the supplies? Our men tried to reach the ship once, but they turned back after taking serious casualties. They said it's more than just rat ghouls, but couldn't make an ID. If you still want to go, you'll need to talk to our quartermaster at the supply shed across the base. She's got the exact coordinates of the crash. We're just going to make this all better, huh? I'm sorry. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Karen Weck, Quartermaster. Commander Gardet just called to say you're retrieving our supplies. For which, by the way, I and the rest of the troops here humbly thank you. But I don't want Commander Fat Pants to think it means he gets away with this. Steal from your troops, spend the Republic's money on vintage wine from Alderaan, but it's fine, because there's a gang of big-hearted heroes around to save you. Tell me the whole story and more slowly this time. The ship didn't have to crash. I said over and over that the ship needed repairs. The left stasis generator was loose, and the hyperdrive motivator was seeping fluid. But Gardet had already spent our allotted maintenance budget on himself. Putting his men at risk for his own indulgences is a grievous misuse of authority. And then some. But he simply slashed the rations budget in half and figures it's over. The men are starving. And starving men don't hold up well against creatures where one tiny scratch could lead to a base-wide epidemic. If you can take this hollow camera out to the crash site, you could get the evidence I need to get him court-martialed. What kind of evidence do you think I'll find? Here, take the camera. If you take hollow pics of the engine, I can show that the documented lack of repairs is what caused the crash. The most important thing is the supplies, though. The crash site isn't far. When you get everything, bring it back here so I can distribute it.
Salamanatupa Chiholokto Chobot E. Kafsto Andale. How do you know, Dr. Gadara? Bafopa Jiwanta Humpa Mulira Bampa Wula Konkipona Hukta Tabatata Sigunra de Hayaliska Chanaga. We think a chasa hopoma. Keep out of sight and protect your friend. Need you what the clunky. Stand down, Jedi. I'm afraid we both lose this contest. Dr. Gudera killed himself rather than be captured. It's a tragic loss. You backed him into a corner. What did you expect? I assured him he wouldn't be harmed, but his hatred of the Empire was beyond reason. We are prepared to leave Taris without further violence. Full cessation of hostilities. Do you accept? You've committed crimes against the Republic. I'm taking you in. You know I can't allow that. Be reasonable. Unlike the men at the outpost, we're trained to fight Jedi. Don't underestimate us. Wait, Jedi. These filthy imps are lying to you. My maker is not dead. 
I conducted a second triangulation on my maker's bioscan, just to be sure. Thought we destroyed that irritating machine. Now you both have to die. Critical damage. Circuits failing. Transmitting my maker's new coordinates to you now. Save him. Do not let my functions end in vain. Your main processor and memory circuits are intact. If there's a way to repair you, I'll find it. Filthy ips. Kill them all. Not my finest performance, but serviceable. Do not fear. Dr. Gadera is unharmed. I painlessly rendered him unconscious and gently carried him to safety. That trick only works once. Next time, I'll be ready. That doesn't need to be a next time. We could continue this chase forever, but what a waste of resources. I suggest a compromise. Give me time to administer truth serum to Dr. Gadera. Once he reveals his secrets, he's yours. We'll both have what we want. You've already deceived me twice. I'd be a fool to give you another chance. My deceptions have failed to produce the desired result. Now, I'm telling the truth. I will purchase time for interrogating Dr. Gadara by offering you something of great personal interest. A Sith assassin is on Taris preparing to massacre a small Republic settlement. I can tell you where. Tell me how to save my people. I can only provide the location. How you stop your enemy is up to you. The Republic colonists have a temporary shelter near some ruins, sending the coordinates now. The Sith Assassin is noted for being a master of beasts. She likely won't be alone. I advise caution. Good luck, Jedi. <laughs>